Hello everyone, it's Lari from Cook Scrap Craft and today I've got a haul video for you. I know that December is coming, it is here, and that means probably I'm going to get some scrapbook goodies as gifts. However, I had to buy some stuff for myself. I couldn't pass up a Black Friday deal at scrapbook.com. So, I, I basically I had this stuff in my cart. It's all pretty much American Crafts branded stuff because at one point, all the American craft stuff was on sale at scrapbook.com. But even with the sale, it was still a little pricey, but I just kept it all in my cart. I was like, let me think about it. And I'm, I'm glad that I did because then I ended up getting the Black Friday deal, which was a little bit better. And so all is well in the world. Of course, I forgot that I purchased this. So when I got this box and it said scrapbook.com on it, I was like, did somebody order me stuff, but send it to me? No, no, I ordered this. How could I have forgotten that I ordered scrapbook stuff? Anyway, so let's get to it. A lot of this stuff is Chamel recommended items. So stuff that was in the past best of both worlds kits that I just never purchased. So I'm trying to like play catch up and I kind of like it because it's just a random hodgepodge of stuff. And then I can just use it for general photos. And I'm, I'm scrapbooking March photos right now. So I'm not really in the Christmas season. I don't really need Christmas stuff right now. Although I guess I'm going to do a December daily, but We'll see about that. Um, so first I got Pops of Color from scrapbook.com. These are like their, this is their version of Nouveau Drops. And this is in Dusty Rose and it's a gloss as opposed to, I don't know, let me see. Oh, that's a Nouveau. Um, as opposed to this one, which says it's a glitter. So obviously this has no glitter, but it's going to be kind of shiny, I guess. But isn't that a pretty color? I like that. And then to kind of go along with that color, let me pull out these. So these are scrapbook.com alpha stickers. And they're sort of um, a light pink with a dark pink polka dot. And I purchased these blue ones last month uh, from my haul. But I like them. And they're really cheap, like $1.99. I, at first, I was a little concerned that they're, they're paper stickers. I thought they might not stick very well. But so far, so good. So that's good to know. And then over here, we have these Farmstead Harvest Puffy stickers from American Crafts. Not a whole lot, but they do have numbers, which is kind of nice. I, it's just nice to have a variety of fresh alpha sticker sheets, you know? So you're not digging through, or I'm not digging through the two drawers of random alphas that I have looking for, you know, an R or an E. So, yeah. Now this one is a paper pad. Five sheets of each pattern, 230 GSM. I think that's the weight of the paper. So this is pretty... This is pretty thick paper, if that's something that you're concerned about. I think that's good for probably card making. But you can see there are a lot of different patterns in here, just some bright colors. Um, this size, I think, yeah, a six by eight. So this could be good if you're doing a six by eight album. Um, some of, like this color you could do for um, a December daily album with almost looks like a candy cane stripes. But you could do whatever color you want. Your December daily doesn't have to be Christmassy. Or you could do it for whatever. Maybe you're doing a vacation album that's six by eight. So these are great full sheets of that paper, or you can, you know, cut them down for cards or um, matting photos. I, I, I liked this idea. So that was, again, something that Chamel recommended. So I bought it and we'll see how I use it. And then they always give, um, oh, there's a gift guide in case you guys want to check it out. Scan that QR code if you want to ch check out the scrapbook.com crafty holiday gift guide. Uh, I already know what I want, so I don't need their help. This is Chamel, my, my main character energy. These are my story alpha phrases, not um, not letters, but just phrases. I love, 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 love Chamel's, um, I think this is based on her handwriting. I love the way the font is. I love the size of it. Make, great for making big, big titles. And I like that there's some gold glitter, but then also some of these smaller pieces as well. And lots, oh, that's really cool. And lots of little like icons and just extra things that you can use for embellishments. So that's pretty cool. And then I got some paper. All right, here we go, folks. This is crepe paper. This is one side of it. I think the other side is going to tell me what it's called, but it's just a pink with these sort of like splattery white pieces. Kind of reminds me of snow. And then this side, this is from the Gingham Garden Collection, uh, and it's called A Light, and obviously because these butterflies are in flight, and it's sort of a rainbow with the butterflies. But, you know, I kind of like this for a, like a winter thing, right? That could be cool. All right, now this one, 
is Vicki Booten from Print Shop. This is called Carved. So we've got these sort of half circles joined together, half dark, half light green. And then on this side, we've got scissors with some cool ink splatters in both corners and a full branding strip, which I love. So I don't know what side I'm going to use. Again, this with the green, I don't know. You could do that for some sort of like wintry holiday thing, right? I think that would work. All right, clay paper again from Gingham Garden. This is called Timeless. We've got a nice wood grain here with a little bit of white flowers in the corners. And then over here, it's a light blue with this circular pattern, white circular pattern going all the way around. Kind of looks like leaves. Maybe a little fallish could be used for something for fall. All right, these all these papers are backwards. Okay, so here's one side, here's the other. Ooh, that's pretty. This is Paige Evans Blooming Wild number 18. So I like this sort of cloud rainbow thing going on. And then we've got some florals over here on this side. And the oh, cloud rainbow thing is on the branding strip that goes all the way across. All right, my stuff is starting to fall over. So here we go. We've got these poke, these hearts on wood grain. Is this what the B side's going to be? The other side? Let's find out. <gasps> yes, it is. So this is Jen Hadfield Flower Child. It's called Grandma's Wallpaper. That looks kind of wallpapery. I will say something about this piece of paper. When compared to these other ones, this is really, really flimsy and thin. Um, and I don't remember American Crafts papers ever being this thin. So that's just something to note. It's much thinner than... Um, the crepe paper and the page ovens and the Vicky Booten, right? This is the this is the thinnest piece of paper. It's not I it's not even cardstock. It's like printer paper. So I wonder if that's the way it's supposed to be or if that's just a mistake. Anywho, here's cardstock. Okay, Jen Hadfield Flower Child. Yeah, I wonder if this is a mistake because this same collection but it's totally cardstock. Totally normal cardstock. So that's weird. Oh well. Um, we got a rainbow burst going on. It's called Retro Rainbow. And then we got rainbow hearts on the other side. And again, the branding strip goes all the way across. Okay, what's this one? Who do you think this one's going to be? Let me know in the comments. Is it a Jen Hadfield? Is it a Paige Evans? Is it something else? <gasps> it's Heidi Swap. It's old school. Oh, no, this is not her old school. This is her set sail collection. So this is called Sun. Obviously, it's a big sun. And then on this side, it just kind of looks like a sunset, I think. Very, very cool. Perfect for some spring photos that I've got. All right. I have a feeling this one's going to be Paige Evans. Yes, I was right. All right. So this is from Blooming Wild number three. You've got rainbow, a rainbow grid thing going on here. I like that. And then a really pretty yellow into pink thing going on over here. I don't know. This could be a good background, but I also like the pattern on this. So we'll see. Um... Who do I think this is going to be? I think this is the flower child. This is Jen Hadfield. Yes. And it's called Flower Power. Lots of flowers on this side. And some really cool, like, 19, I don't know, 1960s? Would this be 1960s feel or 1970s feel? I think, like, late 60s. I always get confused because when I think of, like, hippies, um, the timing that I always think of them is actually wrong. <laughs> But I feel like this might be 60s-ish with these sort of half circles and the, the colors. It's very, very 60s-ish to me. I think so. If you live through the 60s, let me know. Um, I'm going to say this might also be a flower child collection. Yeah, this is called Fab Flowers. So we've got rainbow squares. Some have stripes and some have flowers in them. And then this is just a big flower pattern right here. Very perfect for some springtime photos, I think. I'm going to judging by the branding strip, I'm going to say this is also Flower Child. Yep. Would you rather wood, W-O-O-D, because these flowers have a wood grain to them against the cream. And then we've got these fun, um, colorful stripes on this side. Okay, so this one is different. I see this and it looks kind of like waves. So I'm going to say it's Heidi Swap. It is set sail waves. This is what it's called. And it's sort of like an ombre wave thing, light to dark. And then you saw this side is like a grid, a ledger type thing. I don't really care for this unless I'm going to use it for um, matting photos. But I do like this side. That's pretty cool. This one I'm also going to say is Heidi Swap set sail. Yep. And it's also, it's called wood. All right. Very easy because it's a wood grain, which I love. I love this color wood grain. 
that's really pretty um but it, it looks like it's a full like picture and I don't really like that I like more just regular patterns so I'll definitely be using this side and I'm gonna say this might also be Heidi Swap's at sale yes it is small ledgers is what it's called because these cut aparts look like ledgers so you could use them for matting you could use them for journaling journaling spots and then this has a cool background uh just kind of like blue with some white very textured and distressed looking this one i can see right here it's crepe paper because crepe paper doesn't have border strips that go all the way across um this is a pretty peach color and then these have some cut apart so these are souvenir from the G gingham garden collection so lots of different pieces i think these might be three by four maybe some two by two Lots of different sizes of things that you could cut apart, use for journaling and whatever. And then we got Maggie Holmes. Again, Maggie, boarding strip, branding strip doesn't go all the way across. But we've got some zebras. Could be good for like a zoo layout. But I really like these, these half circles with the, the pretty colors. This is Woodland and Grove, and it's called Fearless. So these are the papers that I got from scrapbook.com. Let me know if you purchased any scrapbooking goodies during Black Friday. And stay tuned to the channel, hit that subscribe button, give this video a like so that you do not miss out on process videos that I make using all of these fun goodies. Thanks so much for watching this video, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye!